As we have added STEM enrichment classes to our curriculum here at school and as we have added STEM projects to our science, I see more enthusiasm on the part of the kids. And that's what you want. You want kids that want to come into class and just, they say, can I start work? And I say, sure, just start. I want them to be enthusiastic. I want them to like it. I want them to problem solve. Um, and those have always, we've always said that and it, it sounds somewhat trite to even say it, but it actually happens when they do STEM because they have to figure it out. Um, I borrow that phrase from the uh, show Project Runway and I say to them, make it work. And that's what they have to do. They have to figure out what their problem is. Um, I think it makes science more real to them. They realize that there are a lot of parts to science. It's not just biology, it's not just physics, it's not just chemistry, that it is engineering, that there's a math component, that there can be an art component and that there's something for everybody in STEM. Whereas before, I think in the old way of teaching science, if you didn't want to be a scientist or an engineer, it turned you right off to it. It did me when I was in middle school. I hated science. And so, and yet I'm a science teacher and I love it. So, and I worked in the medical field for years before that. And I love that too. So anything you can bring to the students that adds to their perspective of what it could be for them, I think is um, allows them to feel comfortable. And once they feel comfortable, then they just go. So I watched a girl use a power saw last year for the first time, and, or a band saw, one of those two. I get them mixed up. She was, I mean, her smile went from ear to ear, literally from ear to ear. And she said, I did it. We're like, see, it wasn't so bad because in my, day I wasn't allowed to take shop. Yeah. Girls took home ec, I was told. Oh. So I learned to bake biscuits, which are, my biscuits are pretty good. Um, but I d couldn't learn to sew, I hated that. And so I never liked that end of things. I can't fix things, my, I'm not good with tools. Mm -hmm. um, and that held me back, which is unfortunate. I don't want that for these girls. If they want to do it, I want them to be able to experience it. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's what we're trying to do. I think it will help um, parents see that science isn't just the way they learned it in school because I still get a little pushback from parents sometimes well you're not doing it the way I did it and I say no we're not doing it the way you did it we're doing it better than you did it before and your kids are going to like science um, and they're going to love something about it along the way most of the parents that I've come in contact with have been very happy with the STEM initiatives and they like that um, they see the value in it and they like their kids to be doing things. Um, so we haven't had much pushback there. And I think parents can encourage their kids to do that kind of thing. They're, they're welcoming it because they may not have those opportunities. They may not have had those opportunities themselves. And so this way they are getting those opportunities to have their kids be involved in engineering type projects.